today i am taking up the phylum mollusca mollish means soft because the body of these animals is very soft the phylum got the name mollusca phylum mollusca is the second largest phylum after <coughs> phylum arthropoda it includes about 1 lakh species then the body of these animals is covered by a membrane known as mantle membrane and mam mantle membrane is responsible for the secretion of the shell in most of the molluscans the body is covered externally by a shell which may be in one piece or two pieces or many pieces sometimes the shell may be internal or even absent the inner membrane of the shell and inner layer of the shell is shiny like a pearl and it is known as mother of pearl the space present between the <coughs> mantle membrane and the body wall is known as mantle cavity gills present in the mantle cavity then the digestive system excretory system reproductive system etc open into the mantle cavity then molluscans are bilateral symmetrical animals except for gastropod molluscs <coughs> the gastropod molluscs are asymmetrical because they have undergone or the larvae of gastropods have undergone a process known as <coughs> torsion because of the torsion they have lost the bilateral symmetry but all other molluscans are bilaterally symmetrical then These are all triploblastic animals having all the three gemmal layers. The body organization is also at organ system level. Molluscans are coelomates and their body cavity is coelocoelom. But the coelocoelom is well developed in the embryos or in the embryonic stage. Later on, it is replaced by a blood-filled cavity known as hemocoel. The true coelom. is reduced and confined to few parts of the body then the body of molluscans is divided into three main parts the head the foot and the visceral hump the visceral hump is covered by the mantle membrane then the foot is modified in various ways in different molluscans it helps in locomotion swimming foot correction yankarees etc in cephalopods which are highly evolved molluscs the foot is modified into oral arms and a siphon by using the oral arms and siphon they swim in water they exhibit a method of locomotion known as the jet propulsion jet propulsion then the digestive system is well developed longer than the length of the animal and it remains coiled inside the body and they have a they have a large digestive glands known as hepato pancreas hepato pancreas in the buccal cavity of most of the molluscs there is a rasping organ known as the radula in bivalve molluscs we find a crystalline style in the intestine or in their stomach which helps in digestion of food then the respiratory system is mainly made of gills in some animals the gills are plate like and very big gills also help in food collection in addition to respiration in some of the molluscs then in the amphibian or the amphibious molluscs or terrestrial molluscs there is a pulmonary sac or a lung that helps in aerial respiration then most of the molluscs are aquatic animals except for a few like the snails they are found in large numbers in sea water some are also found in fresh water and very few are terrestrial some are also 
amphibious. For example, phyla is an amphibian mollusk. Then, in aquatic mollusks, a water purity testing sensor organ is present. This water purity testing sensor organ is known as the Ospreidium. Then, the nervous system is well developed and it, con and it consists of three pairs of ganglia. They are known as cerebral ganglia, pedal ganglia and visceral ganglia. Cerebral ganglia are present in the head, pedal ganglia are present in the foot and the visceral ganglia are present in the visceral hump. Sense organs are also present. They are present in the form of eyes, statosis, ospreidium, tentacles, etc. Then coming to the blood vascular system, it is open type except in cephalopods. In cephalopods, a closed type of blood vascular system is present. In all other mollusks, it is open type. The body cavity is called hemoseal because it is filled with blood. The heart consists of one ventricle and one to four atria. Then, the blood of mollusks is bluish in color because of the presence of the respiratory pigment hemocyanin. And hemocyanin is a copper containing respiratory pigment. Then, the excretory organs of mollusks are known as kidneys. And the Nitrogenous waste product is mainly urea. Mollusks are usually dioecious, that means sexes are separate. And fertilization is mostly internal. But in some animals it may be external also. Then development is direct or indirect. In the case of indirect development, Trochophore larval stages and the villager larval stages appear. So the presence of a trochophore larva indicates that the molluscans have originated from phylum anelida because in phylum anelida also we come across trochophore larval stages. Then coming to the examples, phyla globosa is commonly known as apple snail. Pink tada vulgaris and pink tada margulitifera are known as the pearl oysters. The pearl oysters produce pearls. Pearls are also produced by the bantle membrane. If any some substance like sand particles enter between the body and the mantle membrane, the animal go on secreting pearly substance around the sand particle and ultimately a pearl is produced. The pearl is also made of calcium carbonate, like the shell of a mollusk. Then, sepia is commonly known as a cuttlefish. In this animal, the shell is internal. Laligo, it is known as squid. Shell is internal. Octopus, it is commonly known as devil fish. Shell is absent. In octopus, the oral arms are eight, so the name octopus. Then, sepia, laligo, octopus, all of them belong to class cephalopoda. In these cephalopods, eye is very well developed and it resembles the vertebrate eye. So, the development of eye or a similar type of eye in cephalopods and vertebrates indicates the presence of a parallel evolution. That means they exhibit parallel evolution. The cephalopods also exhibit Jet propulsion, which I have already told you, by using the <coughs> siphon. Aplysia is known as sea hair. Dentalium is called tooth shell or tusk shell. It resembles the tusk of an elephant. Chetopodora is known as chiton. In this animal, the shell is in eight pieces and present on the dorsal surface. Neopilaina gelatia. It is a living fossil. It is present deep in sea waters and it exhibits internal metamerism. So scientists believe that 
Near pain in the galatia is a very ancient animal and it exhibits, because it exhibits a number of unlearned characters, unlearned are considered as the ancestors of mollusks. And the indication is presence of trochophore larva in both the phyla. Jankum, Jankus phylum. Jankus phylum is a holy chunk used in the temples. Limax means a slug. Doris, sea lemon, because it resembles a lemon. Cypria, cowries, with, with which we people play different types of games. Unio, <coughs> fresh water the mussel. Teredo, it is the ship borer. It eats into the wooden parts of the ship and causes sinkage of the ships. Mytilus, it is called marine mussel. Archaeotis, it is the largest invertebrate animal. It is also known as giant squid. Measuring up to 16 meters in length. It is a marine animal. Then Nautilus. It is also a cephalopod. It has a external shell which is multilocular or multi-chambered and coiled spirally like a wash spring. So these are some of the important examples of phyla mollusca. Thank you.